Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining us today. Well, I've got another video for you here today, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I want to take the time to address um, a topic that has come up a few times, and um, that is sticky holsters. In a lot of videos, depending on the type of gun and whether it's a smaller gun or a pocket gun, I will often feature the sticky holster. And, you know, there are those that are totally against um, any kind of holster that doesn't have kydex and locking mechanisms and some sort of um, hard retention. And that's totally fine. Obviously, this is always going to be a matter of personal choice. But I wanted to do is try to take a moment to actually explain the role that the sticky holster plays for me, how many problems that it's been able to solve, and why I like them so much. And we're going to explain all that in just a minute. All right, once again, welcome back. Thanks for being with us. So if you've been watching our videos and you haven't had a chance to, or if this is your first time coming to the channel um, and you like our content, please consider subscribing. You can find that little button in the right-hand corner of your computer screen. You can subscribe that way. Or you can scroll down below the video if you're on a mobile device and you can subscribe that way. It's a simple thing that helps us out a lot, and we really, really appreciate it. So the sticky holster. The sticky holster for me has been the answer to a problem that comes up a lot. And the problem is comfort. Now, people carry a lot of different types of firearms, different sizes, and they carry them under a lot of different conditions. But what led me to the sticky holster um, was really, really aggravation of trying to find um, something that I can carry in comfort all the time with regularity. And so we're going to start off with the example here. We're going to use this little uh, Smith & Wesson 642 here. And obviously, as you can see, the weapon is clear. All of the weapons used in this video, we safety checked them. But I just wanted to show you that since we're already here. So you have a pistol like this. All right. So I've got this little revolver. I've got all kinds of options. I can do kydex. I can do leather. I can put all kinds of stuff either on the waistband outside or in the waistband. Well... Anytime you have a fixed holster in the waistband, obviously you have to deal with that set location in the waistband. So if you go to get in the car and your gun is sticking too far back and it's poking your seat, well, without getting out and completely changing your holster location, moving it forward or backward, your, your gun's just going to rub on the leather or it's going to poke in the seat belt, um, you know, holder. Whatever it is you're trying to avoid, you can't fix that problem without actually getting out and physically changing the location of your holster. The one thing I like about the stickies is that if you're especially with a small handgun like this, this is a tiny enough package. This can go right in my front pocket if I want to. And there's times when I do like to carry in the pocket. You know, it's fully covered. And if I draw from my pocket, the firearm is available for me, and it's no big deal to get it back in the holster when I need to. At the same time, if I have this in the waistband, well, we were talking about comfort a moment ago. Well, if I have this inside the waistband, I have my belt cinched up. The material that these holsters are made out of, as its name indicates, is kind of tacky. It's kind of sticky. So when you get your waistband cinched down, it's not like it's going to move around all over the place. It, it will stay pretty good. But at the same time, you have the ability to make minor adjustments inside the waistband because it's not being held with any clips or any locking material. And so what I mean by that is, let's just say that my holster is in this position in the waistband. Say I'm wearing it at 3 o'clock. I go to get in my car and for some reason it's hitting up against something it's not comfortable for me well i can go in the waistband i can simply cant it real quick i can rotate it push it one way or the other it's still in the waistband but i've made a minor adjustment and for me it's comfortable enough where i can sit in the car and put my seat belt on and go and then whenever i get out i can very casually under my shirt make another little minor adjustment to it to get it where i want it now that may seem like a simple thing, and for some people, they may say, well, that doesn't apply to me at all. Well, I can see where there's conditions that would be that way. 
If I'm, it depends on the vehicle. If I'm driving my truck where I have a great big seat, it's really wide. There's, um, there are cloth seats. There's nothing for the, um, for the weapon to really get into. And it's such a big open space. It's almost like I'm sitting in a chair. Well, there are situations like that, but most of my vehicles, it's a little bit more of a tighter fit than that. And I like being able to make those adjustments. So obviously you can do it with a small pistol. So let's change things up and let me go a little bit different. Now I've got this uh, little Kimber Evo, which is a little bit bigger, but still a small pistol to me. This is another case where I have a gun that I like, and it's small, but I'm not sure I really want to carry it in the waistband. Well, inside a sticky holster, this can go right in my front pocket. And when it's in my front pocket, I can reach into the holster and I can draw easily and you can put it right back in the holster and go right back in the pocket when you need to re-secure the weapon. Like I say, it's a very simple thing. Um, it works pretty well with smaller firearms and that's the primary reason that I use them. Now, the Evo here, it's a smaller firearm. Let me move this aside for a moment. We'll move on to something a little bit bigger. One of my favorite uh, carry guns of all time. This is just me. Um, it's unfortunate they don't make it anymore, but uh, the 239 um, by Sig Sauer is one of my favorite guns. I just like it. And it's a metal gun, but it's a single stack. And so it's light enough and it's short enough overall to where it's one that I don't mind carrying in the waistband if I can do comfortably. Well, this was another case where with a sticky holster, I can actually successfully and safely carry this weapon inside the waistband. Now, one of the first things that people say to me when I talk about the sticky is they talk about retention. Well, I've never carried that because it doesn't have any retention and, you know, I don't want my gun just falling out. Okay. Those are legitimate concerns. But what I would say to you is, if you're carrying a firearm on your person, one of the biggest things that has to be forward in your mind is situational awareness. And that includes awareness of where your firearm is, the status of your firearm at all times. If I'm carrying a firearm on my person, subconsciously, my mind is always sort of checking on its location. You know, if I have a firearm inside the waistband, or if I have one outside the waistband, a leather holster, if natural movement, if it shifts a little bit, well, I can feel it, and I know it, but I always know where my firearm is. Plus, a retention holster is not 100% guarantee that your firearm couldn't be removed from the holster anyway. If you're relying on the retention of a, of a holster to keep your, holster, your firearm from being taken, then that's probably a bad policy anyway, because I don't care what kind of holster you're carrying, if the right amount of force and one is taken by surprise, not expecting it, that firearm could be removed from that holster with the right amount of force, if someone knew what they were doing. So for me, it comes down more to a situational awareness uh, about your firearm. Now, once again, it's only up to a certain size, generally, that I will carry because if I get beyond a certain size, then I want to try to distribute the weight of the firearm perhaps across, you know, a, a good rigid belt. And that's where I would probably use something different. But as you can see, you can go pretty large with a firearm and still be pretty comfortable. So just to take it a step further, one of the largest firearms I regularly carry in a sticky holster is the HK USP Compact. Now this, once again, it's a good sized firearm and it has a little bit of weight to it. However, the sticky holster makes it very easy to safely and effectively distribute that load inside this holster as long as you have a good belt on and you have it secured and of course you keep your situational awareness about where you keep your firearm there's absolutely no reason that you can't carry something this size inside of a sticky now once again all of this is you know opinion 
obviously sticky makes a lot of holsters they're extremely popular and so there are people who feel like they're good and there's other people who no matter what wouldn't follow this direction but i can tell you from personal experience every single firearm i've shown you in this video i've carried regularly with a sticky holster and have experienced no problems whatsoever i think the only way you would have a problem is if you tried to either a carry a firearm that was too big for the holster or b tried to carry something um, when you had inadequate clothing a uh, poor belt where you didn't secure it correctly i think the only way you could have an issue would be if you didn't secure the holster correctly due to those types of problems rather than the holster itself so when you talk about sticky and their different offerings um i have a lot of these you know regular holsters that they offer they've also got belly band and they've got you know ankle holsters and things like that uh, but in addition you know everything i've shown you here has been a standard uh firearm with sights but they also if you have you know optics um, equipped firearms they have an entire line called the optics ready line and um, they're very similar to these they just have a a section you know removed where the stitching gets reinforced more in this pattern here to make room for your optics so you can still carry a firearm but it has a little cut out there in order to um, support having an optic on the firearm and those are really nice i actually uh, am planning on getting a couple of those myself um, i have a 365 romeo zero and i have a couple of other optics um, equipped pistols that i'd like to get those for so those are next on my list but they do have a lot of variety now something else that i always tell people uh, why I, I like these and why I use these is because they actually serve another purpose as well. Every single time I buy a firearm, um, a handgun I should say, and it's even remotely a size that I would carry on me, really pretty much if it's a compact or a subcompact, I'm always going to buy a sticky holster with it. And the reason is, even if I don't necessarily carry that firearm in the waistband or in the pocket all the time, it's a very, very good solution for um, damage-free safe storage. And what I mean by that is, is that, you know, I have obviously my different storage solutions, but you can use racks and all kinds of different things to manage your firearms. But, you know, if you have your weapon inside of a sticky holster, well, you can have these... I've often had spaces in the safe where they're side by side, you know, and I can have a lot more firearms sitting beside each other because they're protected, you know, there's nothing touching each other and there's nothing touching the safe. I can stack multiple firearms very neatly inside their own sticky holster and um, utilize the space inside my safe a lot better. So the sticky holster to me, it's a very good answer to a problem I had with comfort. I can't stress that enough because you'll have people that they'll tell you about what kind of gun they want to carry or what kind of gun they do carry. And oftentimes I hear people give me these elaborate descriptions of guns and high capacity and, you know, fancy add-ons. And then I never see them actually carry the firearm. And then when you ask them about it, well, you know, it's kind of big you know i wasn't really dressed for it today it wasn't really comfortable i hear that word a lot it wasn't really comfortable well the sticky holster is a very comfortable way to carry a firearm like i say you need to have your situational awareness about where your firearm is at all time and i think that is necessary no matter what kind of holster that you're carrying and for me it made the difference so much that i know that I can count on myself to always have something on me because with the sticky, no matter how I'm dressed, no matter what option I'm left with, I always have something, whether it's a small revolver or a small semi-auto, that can either go in the pocket or go in the waistband, even if I'm dressed very lightly, and be a very comfortable solution. So for many people, it's a good option. And as I said, it's also a good uh, way to protect your firearm inside the safe. So for those of you who may have been wondering and have asked that question, that is the reason that I like sticky holsters. Like I say, they're not a solution for every single firearm, but they're a solution for the vast majority of firearms that I would actually carry on my person. I just can't match the comfort. And if it's not comfortable, you're not going to carry it. And if it's in the safe, it's not doing you any good. So there it is. All right. 
Well, I appreciate you joining us today. Uh, we'll be back very soon with another video for you. So as always, until that time, everyone be careful and have a great day. Thank you.